Taurus, welcome to your daily horoscope. You will be more likely to let go and relax. Your ability to adapt brings you luck. You will notice the tiredness. You will be more vulnerable in relation to your environment. You lack hours of sleep. You will learn a lesson from the past. This is the time to take stock and put things in order. You could do this by developing endurance over your muscles and ligaments. Now is the time to play a sport with that in mind. Your vitality is making you tend to assert yourself randomly. Think before you talk. Don't be overwhelmed by the demands of others. You need peace and quiet. Admit it and don't feel guilty. How much of yourself are you willing to give away? Generally, not much, from the looks of things. But keep in mind that you can only find true equality and connection with someone if you are both willing to give of yourself to each other. If you keep the walls up, or never give an ounce of anything to anyone, then what's the point of living life? You certainly won't get very far with that kind of attitude. Right now, the skies are alight with a brilliant full moon in Sagittarius which, coincidentally, is happening in your intense 8th house of soul bonding, intimacy, and sharing. This is not a joyful zone, but it can be very pleasant, so keep an eye out for some deep experiences coming your way. You will most likely enjoy them thoroughly, so don't be afraid. Mood Isolation will allow you to find the poise you need before surrounding yourself with your people. You need mental rest. You will know how to objectively look at your moods so as not to get angry. Your pride will come in handy here. Don't let other people bother you. Focus on what you really need to do. During this transit, Taurus must focus on finding balance and stability. Try a gentle yoga class or meditation to help you ground yourself. Rose quartz is a useful crystal for Taurus, promoting self-love and harmony. Incorporating heart-healthy foods like dark chocolate or berries into your diet can also be beneficial. Love Your partner will suddenly be demanding of you but you won't dislike it. You will have no doubt that your partner really needs you. Your seduction capacity reaches its highest point. You will know how to lighten your partner's load or enhance your qualities in moments of seduction. Do not isolate yourself. You are suspicious when there is nothing to suspect. It's not your instincts telling you something, it's the fruit of your fears. Your challenge is to overcome them to reach your goals. Is it easy for you to experience intimacy with your romantic partner? What are the things that scare you the most in your partner that may be keeping you from experiencing such closeness and depth with your lover? Ask yourself these important questions today, as the moon is in Sagittarius and in your 8th house. True intimacy is being able to share those darker or less happy parts of yourself with your partner. Unfortunately, this is something that we are not conditioned to do. Society tells us directly or indirectly that there are parts of ourselves that it is better not to share with others, because otherwise they will leave us or judge us. So this is a good time for you to practice bringing more of that dialogue between you and your partner, making sure that you both feel safe and trust each other to bring those aspects of yourselves into the partnership. When we carry our desires deep within us, 
they can become a part of us. I don't mean that your need for a new leather jacket becomes your strange new spiritual totem, but that the things we really want are often physical manifestations, mirrors, of what exists within us. Makes sense? If not, let's look at it a little differently. You've probably been holding a light inside of you for a long time, a kind of passion that has given you an endless supply of firepower but sometimes also caused you to burn much easier. Happily, from now on you will have the ability to not only release this fire like a flock of doves, but your desires will be powerfully fulfilled by the universe. Stop holding on to the things you want. It's time to let go and see what flies your way in the process. Money. It is an ideal day to start a project or, on the contrary, to settle unprofitable situations. You are determined to implement your good intentions and you will be in a pleasant mood of cooperation with the people around you. Legal issues and questions will be imperative today. You must act. You may have some financial problems, but these are only temporary. You will arrive at a positive long-term solution. Some unexpected bills may have resulted in moments of panic, but it's important to breathe and recognize that things will get better with time. Believing in yourself is important and so is maintaining a positive environment. Your surroundings have a big impact on your feelings, so be sure to take some time to reorganize if you need to today. Job You are going to insist on giving your best and defining with precision the important details. You are in a day of peace and you have complete freedom to explore what you know and reinforce your work strategies. Today there is a challenge in the air. Do not hesitate to go into action with your personal convictions intact. What is the current nature and condition of your joint ventures and financial investments? The moon is in Sagittarius today and in your 8th house, asking you to reflect on just that. Do your investments return as much as you put into them? That is what determines if it is an area of your life that deserves your energy and attention or not. Don't waste your time pouring your soul into something that won't provide you with a fair and just reward. Make sure the people you have a financial partnership with come from the same place as you and are looking for the same result. Both parties must be willing to give as much as they hope to take or receive. Have a nice day Taurus, see you tomorrow.